So here we go again with a new uh, add-on, uh, which is a Kfire. Kfire will help you create some cool explosion. Uh, explosion are pretty tricky to, to create uh, in any software, so uh, with Mantaflow we can do this uh, easily with the help of the Kfire. Uh, you will have no no uh, particles, no mesh uh, manipulation. Uh, everything will be happen uh, in these uh, settings and you will very fastly have a nice result like that. So let's see how it works. So I will create a new scene and uh, Kfire have to be installed and enabled. So we can find it in the in the tab here in the fracture tab. Fracture tab is the, the place where we at Pictofilmo uh, uh, put our, our different uh, destruction add-ons. So we'll hide this for now and add the uh, Kfire. Kfire will, this is how it looks. So uh, there's, there's different vectors you can uh, add or, or reduce the number. Uh, there's a shape, you can change the shape uh, for the direction if you want, for, for example, uh, create a muzzle flash for for a, a gun or something uh, like that, uh, or a tank. Uh, and you have uh, the ring shape which uh, uh, disable the remove the vector in the center so you can create a shockwave very easily with, with this. A minimum size will, will create a randomness uh, for the length of the, the vectors. Uh, so torchways, to see torchways we have to create an animation. This is the part where you will animate uh, to, to create the, the animation. And here's what happened. This will animate, create shape that will emit fire and uh, on the direction of the of the different uh, vectors. So torchways will be, uh, will make them uh, much more uh, uh, fat or or not, and uh, there's a the noise strength will will uh, distort them. Okay, so you just have to add to add uh, a new. Uh, or let's use the one I, I hide. Yeah, let's create a domain with this one cube and uh, fluid domain, and uh, let's see sixty four, and I will move it up. Like that, and let's use uh, the 3D cursor, 3D cursor to to scale this. Uh, this is much more easy. Yeah, like that. All right. So it's already working because the 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 torch are are of are on. So we ju we just want to animate the torch uh, ignition. So. For that you have to select the Kfire, just go there, or uh, maybe here, yeah. You have to select the Kfire uh, shape, the little flame. And you, let's see, this is off for now. Uh, create a keyframe, move some few frames away, and uh, create this. You want to uh, emit uh, like that, and then you're back to, to zero. Okay, and it's already working. Look at that. You already have the, the basis of the explosion. Let's reduce the timeline to 250. And uh, let's change some uh, settings in here. Uh, Mantaflow have a very, very nice uh, preview. Uh, some people uh, don't know. So just look at this. If I hide everything, if I set uh, a... Uh, viewport to black like that and see only the domain in this uh, viewport and I will uh, say to the viewport display to 10 to have something much more uh, much more uh, much more density So you will see the preview is not so bad. So that's how it works. Uh, you can change uh, anything at any time and play it again and uh, say uh, see how it works. 
maybe removing these things uh, on the, in the center and play it again and you can uh, change the torch width maybe you have to stop for that yeah like that okay you can change the source velocity so how uh, to, to push the the smoke uh, and fire uh, in the direction of the motion so it goes much uh, much more far away from the center and uh, you can uh, maybe change some few settings uh, in the domain uh, for example let's say uh, I want to reduce this to 52 uh, let's say we have uh, I don't want this to be so high so let's say this settings for example and let's set the fire to be like that and you can preview this again and again until you are satisfied with uh, what you see so that's pretty nice and uh, let's see if I want to use a button and collision so you already have something cool uh, basically you just have to uh, push this up uh, the res resolution division and bake this and you will have something very cool for now in a few minutes but it can be very much more uh, let's for example you can add a, a many sky fire here let's for example duplicate this one and while you duplicate this one you will duplicate it with the keyframes this is very very awesome because you just select the second one, the new one, and you can move this a little back later and uh, say this one it will be much more uh, not a ringed shape and uh, much more in the center like this I uh, mean maybe less uh, less vectors uh, and, uh, and maybe a torch was wider and you just have to hit play and you have a two timing we have a very cool very cool animation from from nothing this is a very easy way to, to create a cool animation uh, now and if i want to have, add a shockwave i can um, maybe i can add a shockwave like, like this uh, let's say uh, this one will be very very many many numbers of uh, vectors and uh, let's say this will be a ring like that uh, so that to be like that oh, i'm lost yeah like this um, all the same size for example so this will be flat yeah like that and i want no fuel on this one so it will be only smoke and much more density and maybe uh, the torture will be seen and uh, i want to animate this uh, uh, when will i want to animate this let's say we want to animate this now so for now i'll create a zero a bit better here i can create this and a new keyframe to back to zero and let's try so this okay it's a bit uh, too fast and too late and uh, maybe I want it to be like that with some randomness a bit and much more touch with okay and uh, maybe I want it to be 
uh, much more source velocities. So this is pretty cool to to use. Maybe I want to. I want it to be earlier. Okay, so very easily I can have some nice results and there's no definition for now. So you can add some many much more definition and add, uh, just add some uh, noise. Let's say we push this to 86 and uh, let's bake this. So we'll see what, what it looks like. Oh. And uh, and that's it. Let's let's back this. Uh, I will pause the the recording to while the the, the cache will be back. Okay. See you soon. So that's it. Uh, the bake is done. So I will just create a animation uh, a video to to see how it looks. So let's first reduce this to fifty percent and. Uh, uh, create a animation. I use uh, this button. is uh, It came from uh, from uh, this tool, this uh, render tool. I don't know, pretty pretty f efficient. And uh, there's this one. So you have a video at the place uh, you want. And uh, uh, let's say let's call this blast, for example. And uh, this tool, this button uh, will create a, a preview, a viewport preview uh, from. Uh, in one click so let's try this it will be very fast because uh, the cache is, is already uh, baked animation player this like now to be moved on the screen need a uh, time to to refresh okay so that's it that's how it looks pretty nice to, for uh, animation uh, that can be done in a, in so few times that's it for much more distance Okay, to move it again, and it will it will not like this. Come on, refresh. Here we go. So here's this new add-on, uh, which is very cool, very cool uh, and fast way to create this. I don't know how I will create uh, this kind of uh, explosion uh, uh, without this. Uh, this pretty easy to do and uh, very efficient. So that's it for now. We'll see later for uh, the shading and uh, and everything to to have a render, uh, a very nice render on on this. So thanks.